Hey everyone! Today I'm going to read another book. This one's called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. This is the third Dr. Seuss book that I've read because um, first I read Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You, then I read Fox and Socks, and now I'm reading this one. Mm -hmm, and she's reading it to me! Yay! <laughs> so let's get started. I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. I can read with my eyes shut. Hey, look, it's the cat in the hat and a little cat. Fun. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color, too. <laughs> oh, my favorite color is blue. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. Fish. I can read with my left eye. Another fish. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. Those are some big words. But it's bad for my hat, and it makes my eyebrows get red hot. So, reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees, and bees, and knees. And knees on trees, and bees on threes, and bees. You can read about anchors, and all about ants. You can read about ankles, and crocodile pants. <laughs> That's funny, because crocodiles don't wear pants. Yeah, crocodiles don't wear pants, but it would be funny if they did. Yeah, <laughs> it would also be funny if a bunny rabbit wore a tutu. That would be cute. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. <laughs> yeah. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, Oh, the stuff you will learn. The most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about... Fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones, too. You'll learn about Jake the Pillow Snake. And all about Fufu the Snoo. What's a snoo? Apparently that. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice, and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. You can learn about sad, and glad, and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts, or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hut set if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. I don't know what a hut set is, but I do love music. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. Yep, you won't know where you're going. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, at least on one side. That was super cool. Did you like that book, Susie? No, I loved it! 
<laughs> I'm glad. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh. Have you ever tried reading with your eyes shut? I know I never have, because how will I know um, what the pictures look like? And how will I um, read the words in the book? It's impossible to read with your eyes shut. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Maybe next we'll do another Dr. Seuss book. Or any other book. <laughs> awesome. I wonder if I can try and read with my eyes shut. Okay. Let's see. Uh, never mind, it's too tricky.